In 1902, Frank Boyden looked down at his school and said, I need someone willing to learn. So he opened the door. Boyden said, I need somebody to wake up before dawn, finish their homework, study for a test, go to class all day, eat dinner, study again, then stay up till 12 talking to their friends. So Boyden opened the door. I need somebody strong enough to carry around a backpack all day and yet gentle enough to set a table. Someone to spend all class building up a hunger, going to lunch, and having to wait for the table head to finish a story, then to tell them you would love to hear another. So Boyden opened the door. Boyden said, I need somebody willing to stay up all night cramming for a final and watch it get a failing grade, then dry their eyes and say, better luck next term. I need somebody who can pass a pop quiz with no knowledge on the subject, write a paper the day it is due, set their tables in five minutes and be out past curfew and not get caught, and who, in the week of finals, will have been studying for 40 hours by Tuesday, then, tired from cramming, will put in another 40 hours. So Boyden opened the door. Boyden had to have someone willing to run to class to get inside before it started to rain, but stop if they saw a friend drop their bags. So Boyden opened the door. Boyden said, I need somebody who is willing to take seven classes, a co-curricular, and then join three clubs. So Boyden opened the door. Boyden said, I need somebody who'd unite a group of friends with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would laugh then sigh when a friend said they want to try to get into the same college. So Boyden opened the door.